Hi there, I'm Becky from the Cary Library and today I'm going to teach you a little bit about the art of needle felting and then show you how to make a fun beehive figurine. Needle felting is a fun fiber craft where you sculpt loose wool roving into different shapes using a barbed needle. Initially, the wool roving is loose and looks a little bit like cotton candy. When needle felting, you use your hands to shape the wool and then the barbed needle to get the wool to stay in the desired shape. The barbs on the needle tangle the wool fibers and over time, the fibers will tangle and tighten into a permanent shape. For all needle felting projects, you'll need a foam board on which to work, a special needle, and wool roving. For this particular project, we need wool roving in tan, brown, yellow, black, and white. You'll also want a pair of scissors. When you're felting, you always want to have a foam board beneath your project. This will ensure you don't break your needle, poke your finger, or damage the surface you're working on. Speaking of poking your finger, be very careful when learning how to needle felt. Poking your finger is an easy thing to do. We're going to start by creating our beehive. For this, we'll use the majority of our tan wool, but take a little bit out and set it aside for later. Then take your wool roving and roll it into a cone shape as best you can that is wider on the bottom and thinner on the top. Just a rough approximation of what you think a cone should look like. Now you'll start sh poking the shape with your needle to secure it into place. When you poke with your needle, you want to make sure your needle is going at least halfway through the wool. But you can always go further and poke it all the way into your foam board. Um, be really careful because if you're poking too hard with your needle, it could break. Um, and you don't really want that to happen, but if it does happen, needles break and that's okay. As you're going, try and move your needle evenly across your whole shape. Um, and again, we're trying to get this to look like a cone, uh, which it doesn't yet, but it will. Just focus on making the bottom flat and the top part thinner. Okay, at this point you have a few options. You can choose to keep the outside of your beehive fairly smooth or add texture to it by defining horizontal ridges to give it that classic cartoon beehive shape. Um, once you've decided how you want your beehive to look, you continue working on it with the needle until it's firm. Um, if you want to add ridges, you just kind of draw them on with your needle by repeatedly poking in the same area and you can see that a ridge kind of starts to define. If you keep doing that, um, you'll get a really defined ridge. Um, but you don't have to, you can keep it pretty smooth. Um, also, if 
you want an area to be smaller, focus your attention on that kind of in the same way, like if you want a more defined um, point at the top. Um, and then if you want an area to be bigger, you can take the wool that you pulled aside at the beginning and add that there. So if you want your bottom to be a little bit wider, you just put that on and tack it in. Okay, and you're done with this step. Once you have um, a shape that you like um, and you can feel that the wool is pretty firm on the inside and the outside. Now that the main shape of your beehive is done, you can add details like a black doorway and some additional dark tan and yellow coloring for depth. So to do this, um, take the wool roving. We'll start by adding a little doorway kind of shape it and place it onto the beehive where you want it to be. I think that's a little too big. Then you just poke it into place. I like to go around the edges to make those lines a little bit crisper. But you also want to do the center to make sure it's all firmly in place. And now you have your door. Um, you can do the same thing using a little bit of brown to again add those ridges if you want to. Um, and you can even take some of the yellow if you want to kind of liven up the tan. It's totally up to you. Go ahead and get creative at this point. Now we're going to make two little bees that can go on our beehives. To do this, start with the yellow wool roving and roll it into a pill shape. Okay, then use your needle to make it stay in place. Be really careful with your fingers since you're working with such a small amount of wool roving, it's a lot easier to poke yourself. Now just try and evenly get around the whole bee to make sure that it's nice and firm. and make sure you focus on um, the ends, even though it's a little bit harder to get that area. But you want you know, to make sure that it is kind of the shape of a pill, and if you don't get those ends, they won't be curved. This still needs a little bit of work, but here's a finished one. It's a nice little bee. Now we're gonna add um, the black details on our bee. You'll do this by taking your wool roving, take a strip of it, wrap it around the bee, and then just like we did with the door on the beehive, just tack it into place. And you'll do the same thing on the edges. For this, you'll kind of want to roll it into a little ball. and put it on top and then poke it into place.
And if you see a bunch of black fuzzies that are coming out, you still want to focus on that area, even if your pieces aren't coming off. Because um, once you get those lines a little bit more defined by using your needle, uh, the black fuzzies will disappear. And you'll have something that looks a little bit more like this. Now we'll make the wings for our bee with white wool roving. Take a long piece of the wool roving. Oh, let's do like this. And fold it in half. Then set that down flat on your mat. Poke it into your mat, which seems a little bit weird when you're first doing it, but trust me. Then you're going to pick it up, flip it over, and do the same thing on the other side. This gives us a nice flat piece of wool that we can use for our bee's wing. Now you might notice that the wing that you made is a little bit too big for your bee's body, but that's okay because you can actually take a pair of scissors and trim it down to size. I find this especially helpful if your wing might be an odd shape or something like that too. You can go ahead and use scissors to cut it until you're happy with the shape. I'm gonna cut some of that tail off. Okay, now you can attach your bee's wing to its body by setting it on top and poking in that little tail. And you have one wing. And there's your bee. Now we'll attach the bees to the beehive. Go ahead and play around with the position of the bees until you find a placement that you like um, and that you feel is pretty balanced. Then you'll poke the edges of the bee into the hive and he'll stay in place. Um, and go ahead and do that around all of the edges to make sure that he's well attached and won't fall off. Then go ahead and take your other bee and do the same thing. At this point, you're basically done with your project. However, if you have a lot of little squiggly um, fuzzies sticking out of your project, you can continue to gently felt around the outside to minimize their appearance. But you can also take scissors and trim them off, whichever you'd prefer. And now your project is complete. I hope you enjoyed making a beehive and learning how to needle felt. Make sure to share your final projects with the library on social media. Bye.